G'day everyone, I'm Shane Watts from the Maxis Climb Dirt Wise KTM race team, Dirt Wise instructional DVDs and riding schools. Here we go with another tech tip. Now, the only time that you have too much fuel is when you're on fire. So, having said that, when you're out on the trail, whether you're on a long trail ride or for the next uh, race you got going on, you want to get a nice big fuel tank so you can get as far as possible between fuel stops. That's why we utilize the IMS large fuel tank. Now this one is quick fuel uh, uh, adaptable there with the, uh, with, with the connector up here that goes in for the quick fills and make a quick uh, pit stop at the races. Um, now with these fuel tanks uh, still nice and large but still skinny enough that it's not spreading your legs apart. Now uh, with these larger fuel tanks though you, you come across a couple of issues First off is that the radiator shrouds don't quite fit quite right enough here on the edge of the fuel tank. So what we do is we go ahead and we get the grinder out and we grind off the edge right around there. See the little black mark from the marker, grind it out compared to this one here. See a lot, lot more uh, material there. So by doing that it allows this bottom bolt hole to be able to be engaged and that helps keep the shroud onto the fuel tank. Now out on the trail, especially when you're going faster, you end up starting to smash through some stuff. So, one of the issues here with the, uh, the KTM uh, radiators, the mounting is that uh, it pulls away very easily. If it's screwed in like it normally is, it busts the radiator tab off the shroud comes out and flies all the way around. So what we do, same with the factory teams, go ahead and get the side stand rubber from the kickstand and you attach it through like that, just pop it through, drill a little screw in on the back side right on the edge of the radiator mount. You can do a different couple of versions on how to attach whatever works best for you. This screw hole right in here, uh, it's a self-threading screw there and then just nice and easily you pop that over and it stays in attached and keeps the radiator shrouded. If you hit a tree or one of those saplings out there, pulls, no worries. It's got a lot of give there. If for whatever reason you hit a really good one, it just busts that rubber and that's only a couple bucks there. Much better than having to get a whole new radiator. Now, after a few times of hitting that radiator mount there, what happens is it bends it back and forth and makes the nut get really loose. And again, you, you, met, you, you have to go replace the radio. Check out the other bike over here from early in the year when we didn't have it mounted up that way. You can see down in here, you can see that's all bent. You can see the crack in here. This is loose. It actually, the nut wobbles around by itself. So you can't use a screw anymore for that. So Using a uh, side stand rubber to attach your radiator shrouds helps keep the longevity of your radiators for when you want to go resale or keep some more money in your pocket as well. So you don't have to buy any more radiators so you can keep that, uh, the shroud mounted on with the screw. Just use that kickstand rubber, quick and easy fix, couple bucks, no worries, good to go. Uh, also with this other fuel tank here, what you want to make sure you do is you put, go ahead and try and get one of the petcock protectors here. Carbon fiber protects the petcock and the fuel line from when you're smashing through the trees again. So one of those little uh, tech tips that helps out and make sure that you keep riding on the rest of that trail ride or making the finish line on that next race. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.